We have a model that from Spartanburg to Omaha to Birmingham to Orlando to Indianapolis to Atlanta and all of the purpose-built cities and you would find that there, there's something to learn in each one of those cities. And we are a giving, loving group, but we also are a group that learns. So we come with a certain humility, knowing that local leaders know their communities best. Uh, we know what has worked in Eastlake and some of the other communities, but we're, we're there to learn and we're there to learn with you. Purpose Built is so vital in redeveloping and revitalizing communities because it takes that holistic approach. So you know you have to have the education, the housing, the community services, all of the aspects to really make it a complete picture. The Purpose Built community model proves that it can be done. Every community in this country who chases that kind of a result has to understand that their circumstances and facts are different. But the basic values, the drive, the hope, the belief that change can occur for the better for everyone. All of those are core ingredients in each one of our journeys. Purposeville has a wonderful name in community development and it's starting to really kind of get out there across the board. School systems now are recognizing the value of partnering with Purpose Built. The role of Purpose Built really is to give a structure to an effort that a lot of people are already sharing. They have a goal, but they don't know how to operationalize that. And Purpose Built Communities helps structure the approach. The full offering of Purpose Built is lifting up a model for the nation that says you have to be considerate of the interplay of housing, of education, and of wellness. In, in, in many ways, the cohesion, the building of a fabric of a neighborhood. In that way, I think that Purpose Built is one of the most important community development frameworks that is emerging in our nation. Mm -hmm.